What the deal is, YouTube? I am your brother Reza. This is KRT Life, and today is Richard in the Parking Deck Day. Hey, it's Friday. Happy Friday, everybody out there. And I'm going to show y'all how to do a massively easy repair right now that more people should do in their cars because every car has this, but a lot of owners fail to do it. Coming up next. <laughs> So the repair that I'm gonna show you guys how to do right now is pretty much a gas piston strut. Every single car has this on different uh, parts of the car. It can usually be on your hood or it could be on your trunk. Depending on your car, it could be either or. All these cars have them, they all fail, and a lot of owners fail to fix this part. So I'm gonna show you how to do this really quick. It's so easy, a uh, Neanderthal can do it. <coughs> and a Neanderthal can do it with even the simplest tools. Let me show you the tools that you need to do it. You need, a flathead screwdriver. That's all you need to do this job. So, this is my Porsche 996 right here. I have a gas piston strut that holds this uh, trunk lid up when you're working on the vehicle. Unfortunately, it stopped working a long time ago and the previous owner never fixed it, and now I'm finally getting around to fixing it. So, this is how it's done. You pop the hood open like this, and then you take a flathead screwdriver or something similar, and you have to reach down in here like so. And you're gonna get under this tab. Now, I might need to get something a little bit more narrow to get to it, but uh, there it goes. Hold up. There it goes. That one's off. Now, get this bottom one off. Same way, same technique. You're reaching under this tab, and you're going to pry this little uh, brace off until the point that it comes off this ball right here, this ball joint. And once you get this little brace up, it just pops right off. So, Installation is reversal of removal. Let me show you how to do that real quick. Ugh. You gotta play, uh, what do they call that when you reach across all those different things? Twister. Twister, you gotta play Twister sometimes when you're working on your car, especially when you're doing this kind of job. You take your replacement part. First of all, I'm gonna confirm that my replacement part is the same length as the one that I just removed. Yep, all that looks kosher. And now, or halal, depending on which one you prefer, I'm gonna open this up like so. Doop, 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 doop. And all you gotta do to install this is make sure you line it up with the ball joint, and then you just press it on there, and it's on. Now let me get the bottom part on. Sometimes you gotta, you know, get funky with the distance, and there it goes. And now, my boot lid will stay up by itself. Wow, look how awesome that is. This is a job that's so easy to do that everybody needs to do. And it, I mean, it takes literally the simple, most primitive tool to do it. So if you have a trunk or a boot on your car that won't stay open, change your strut. It's that easy. My name is Reza. This is KRT Life. Uh, five and five, wrenching on the parking deck. This is really wrenching in the parking deck. Five and five is gonna be coming up though soon. And you know, our daily vlogs, all that kind of stuff. The stuff that me and wifey boo do. So, uh, yeah, check us all out. YouTube, like, subscribe, comment, hit the bell, etc. All that stuff. And if this little video helped you fix your problem with your car, please like and comment and all that good stuff. Anyway, I got to go because I got to go to the gym. I got to work out. So, peace. Later.